thanks for joining me today for another video on being in my kitchen. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Jenny Petten, founder of Planner Perfect and Planner Perfect Meals. And I'm a homeschooling mom of eight and I have a lot of recipes under my belt that I have used, tested, and the ones I present are tried and true. So um, today I'm going to be making pretzels with my, with my homemade bread. We, I found this recipe when I was just a little girl. So I was a teenager, I was 15, 14. And I used to make eight loaves of bread every Tuesday. My mom found the recipe when we moved into our house or she had found the recipe within the cupboards of our house. And um, we've been using it ever since. So what I have found in particular is that this bread recipe is so universal. So sometimes when I get lazy to make a roll that usually uh, takes heating up milk and butter and all of that, I'll do a shortcut and I'll just use my bread. Or um, for pretzels, instead of following other recipes for their pretzel bread, I just use my bread. And every time I am so happy with the results. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how I make my bread and then we'll go into the, to the pretzel making. So let's get started recipe down below so you guys can um, get the recipe and make this bread. This is gonna be perfect for, this This batch makes two loaves of bread. So keep that in mind when you're doing anything with this recipe. So this here though is, um, I'm gonna be using it for two different reasons and half of the dough will be made for pretzels. Um, and so I will show you later what I will do with the other half. Now, for this, I have three cups of warm water and two packets of yeast. If you're using one like this in a jar, each packet is two and a quarter teaspoons. So I added um, four and a half teaspoons of this into here with a tablespoon of sugar to help get that um, yeast activated and proofed. And proofing is just another word for saying that you have now activated the yeast. It is come alive. It is foamy. It is, it is ready for your next steps. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the next ingredients for my recipe, which is three quarter cup of dry milk, four teaspoons of salt, and three cups of either bread flour or all purpose. I've used both. They, everything turns out the same for me. So, um, which I love King Arthur. It's a beautiful flower. And so let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Here it is already proofed and ready to go. And now I'm going to add, I'm just gonna add my four teaspoons of salt, which three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So I'm going to do a full tablespoon of salt and then a teaspoon. Easy enough. Three quarter cup of dry milk. Three quarter cup of dry milk. And then three cups of flour. So after you here, I'm using unbleached bread flour by King Arthur. And then you're going to beat this on fairly high speed for two minutes. Okay, so next for the bread, we're gonna want two tablespoons of oil. It's a really easy recipe. You can use, I use extra virgin olive oil even. You cannot taste it. Whatever you have on hand, I say you use. So two tablespoons of olive oil and then just three more cups of flour. Now here's the deal. You're going to want to use, after the three cups of flour and you get it integrated, you're going to want to add one more cup of flour at a time until you get the right consistency. And that is when it wicks away from the bowl and it's a perfect soft dough. So let's go ahead and get started with that. 
three cups. And because it depends on the temperature of your home, um, is how, is what's going to determine how much flour you need. So some days I need less, some days I need more. We just won't know until we get our hands in the dough, basically. And I'll go ahead and even get you a closer look at this so that you'll know. So here we've got just the three cups. Almost looks like that's all it needed. <laughs> I'm going to let the, the dough hook do all of the kneading for me. And guess what? That is all that was needed. Sometimes I'll add up to like definitely seven, sometimes eight. So it's even a little bit of struggle. I'm gonna knock it down lower. Definitely don't wanna break another KitchenAid. <laughs> this truly is the perfect consistency and exactly what I'm looking for as it means it'll get softer and even more perfect. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and move for a little bit. Okay, hey girls, I actually have my bread rising. It has been punched down once and has risen again. So now it is time to use half of the dough. Now remember, this recipe makes two loaves of bread, so it's really great. I can either double batch cinnamon rolls with it. I can um, do half, like what I'm gonna do, pretzels, then the other half, I'm gonna use it as almost like, we call them runzas here in the Midwest. There's actually a runza chain restaurants where it's like this cabbage beef mixture within bread folded. You would have seen. So um, it's really great. You can use half of the ingredients for something. Um, you can do one loaf of bread and some here. So it's so universal, so great. It makes a lot so you can do like two different things. It's pretty awesome. Let's get started making them. Okay, so I already have one pretzel here and I'm just rolling out from half the dough. I've got half of it in here for my runzas tonight. And then with this, I am doing um, the pretzel. So I could probably get, I honestly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to 10, maybe. So in this case, you want this to be a little tacky. You don't want to flour your counter because if it's sticky, that's gonna to be to your advantage to really get that long rope. And this is supposed to be. Then we're gonna dip them in the baking soda. water. It's just not long enough. Give it a twist and then a flip over, kind of measuring it. And it's about the same. I would love to do one really, really, really huge, and I might do that. But what you have is your real long rope. And then you're just gonna go up 
and give it one twist and put it back down. Kind of press it into the bottom a little bit and there you have your pretzel. So I'm just gonna continue on. Okay, I have all my pretzels made up. Now I'm going to dip them into making sure this is dissolved. And now I'm going to dip them in, make sure it is com they're completely shaken off of any water. Get all that water off. Just reattach anything that comes in. They are now bathed. Now sprinkle with kosher salt. Four hundred and 50 degree oven for about eight minutes. Let's go.